So here we have a 2016 BMW N2. It's finished in the fantastic uh, Long Beach Blue and fitted with a uh, six-speed manual gearbox. This is a sort of launch spec car. Uh, it's one that the, uh, the press would have driven with the, uh, this uh, fantastic blue paint, which you can see reflecting so beautifully in the sunlight today. Six-speed manual gearbox and these fantastic uh, two-tone alloys as well, which are just beautiful, really set the car off. As you can see, the car's in fantastic condition. Uh, it's demo plus two owners. Uh, we've owned the car for 12 to 18 months now. Uh, it's been owned by a, uh, a friend of Black Barn Automotive. Um, it's been very well looked after, full service history from uh, Dick Lovett BMW um, and the all-important running in service uh, carried out, uh, which we'll look at later. So let's just uh, go in a bit closer now, have a look at the, uh, the details on the car. You can see the wheels are in immaculate condition. Um, it's got the PPF paint protection film across the front of the vehicle. Um, so no nasty stain chips. There are a couple of little marks on the, um, on the PPF. There's one just up here. You can just see it just there. Um, other than that, the car is in, in really, really good nick. Uh, it's got just over 30,000 miles on the clock. It's got the visor on headlights. And this very aggressive front end, which looks superb again. Around this wheel here, really good nick. Uh, brakes are all good. Um, the computer's telling us it's got uh, 50,000 miles left on the pads, front and rear. And the tyres are uh, very good as well, with plenty of life left in them, well over 50% of life left in them. Uh, you can see it's got the PPF paint protection film on this rear arch too, because they are quite wide. They do get a few light stain chips um, on that rear arch, but uh, most of it is protected with the uh, paint protection film. Lovely uh, exhaust pipes there, twin exhaust on each side, make a fantastic noise under load. So let's see if you can see the tyre there. See plenty of life left in that. Rear parking sensors. And the now infamous uh, shark fin aerial uh, indicators in the uh, in the wing mirrors. The BMW kidney grill. Let's have a quick look underneath the bonnet, then I'll show you uh, inside. There's a twin pull to access the bonnet. Pull it once, pull it again. That beeps, telling me that the bonnet's open. So, this is the, the same engine that's fitted to the uh, 235i. So it's a single turbo, uh, 365 brake horsepower, um, straight six. And I think it produces about 370, 369 pound foot of torque. So it gets 0 to 60 in about four and a half seconds. Um, and it borrows cooling system from the M4, uh, rear diff from the M4 and various sort of suspension components from the M4, but uh, it doesn't share the sort of aluminium and composite bodywork that is fitted to some of the M4. So it's a basically it's a steel body, two series with bits lifted over um, from the M4, which I'm sure you all know anyway. But the engine, nice and tidy, uh, sounds superb. Let's close that down. Have a look inside. So it's got the really nice black leather with uh, blue stitching uh, to sort of match the um, exterior colour. You can see the leather's in really good knit. Very, very slight amount of wear there on the bolster, but nothing that's uh, unexpected on a car with 30,000 miles on it. Rear seats, <clears throat> excuse me, don't know that they've been sat in. It's a lovely cockpit, uh, very driver focused. The all important uh, six speed manual gearbox, multifunction steering wheel, automatic lights, automatic wipers, nav screen up there. It's uh, fired up. Um, there's some really nice Alcantara bits in here as well, actually. As you can see, the, uh, the blue stitching carried through the Alcantara there and on the uh, leather armrest. Um, there's also an Alcantara gear gator. 
Uh, it's got a keyless start, so the key's in my pocket. You just uh, press the button, clutch down. So I'll just turn the fans down. Um, so it's got the nav, as you can see. And also, whilst we're here, let's uh, have a look at uh, the vehicle information and look at the. Uh... Sorry. Onboard computer, so we're doing about 27 miles to the gallon. Um, vehicle status service requirements and it's got service history so as you can see there 8th of June 2016 at 1304 miles the um, running in service was done and then it was serviced on the 27th of October 2017 at 23,000 miles both at BMW I did love it down here at uh, uh, Swindon or Hungerford I can't remember which one it was actually I'm afraid um, and then we can go back and have a look. So brake fluid needs changing April 2019, engine October 2019, uh, vehicle check October 2019 or 12,000 miles and the brake pads front and rear 50,000 miles until they need changing. Um, it's a really good system, uh, it gives you all the uh, information on tyre pressures, engine oil level, it gives you tyre temperatures as well which is um, quite good fun but that only works when the vehicle is in motion. Um, the rest of the uh, cockpit is very simple to use, but really, really nicely laid out. A typical sort of BMW driver focused. Um, we've got the sport control button here. Just try and get it to focus. Sorry about this. No, there you go. So that's sport and sport plus. You can see it comes up on the dash there as well. Sport plus gives a bit more of a uh, throttle response and the exhaust note changes. A lot of the exhaust note is actually synthesized um, through the speakers of the car, but it does sound, does sound pretty good. Fantastic car. I mean, such a driver's car. The braking is amazing. Uh, the engine sounds fantastic, and the, the handling is just something to behold it really really feels live underneath you the suspension has been stiffened to handle the extra power um, it doesn't have full M suspension but it really is I mean I, I think one of the, the best M cars there is um, connected to a manual gearbox as well which is just so much fun nowadays uh, please do give us a call with any requirements uh, we'll go for a test drive uh, it's got a um, BMW warranty uh, until 2019, so um, if anything should go wrong, you're fully covered. Do give us a call, Black Barn Automotive. Um, we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, bye.